This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about a funny little story. Before we started filming the show, we walk out into this field. I, I told Darren, yeah, come over to this field. I think you'll want to be here. And I didn't tell him what was in the field. And he said, what is this leafy All stuff right, right let's, here? Let's get this straight. I was looking <laughs> down at my boots on a muddy day, and I just happened to see a couple of plants at the edge of the field, right along where there were some other weeds along the edge. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, I just happened said, to look weed, at that plant. What weed is this? Well, this is turnips. This is no weed at all, and we purposely seeded it in. So every once in a while, as you know, I have to give Darren a hard time on the show, and I said, Darren, what weed is planted in rows throughout the field? Okay, first of all, <laughs> well, let's not even get into that, because I, I don't know so much about these rows. I don't necessarily see rows out here, but... But yes, uh, we did plant some turnips. So you may be asking why, because if you do know Brian, Brian doesn't eat turnips. So it's certainly not for a food <laughs> crop. It has some different purposes when it's out in a field. And many times you'll see turnips getting planted, especially into wheat stubble in our yeah. part of the country. And there are a couple different reasons why farmers will do that. One is a fertility reason, and the other has to do with compaction. Well, not only that, but some people just want a cover crop so they can reduce erosion. I mean, we are in an area where we get a lot of wind. We have a lot of rain. Uh, or I should say not a lot of rain, but just rain events that can be large from time to time. People worry about erosion, especially in some of our rolling hills. So, you know, you might throw these turnips out there after wheat harvest, but the main reason for us on our farm why we wanted to try this is just, we'd had a number of farmers ask us, well, what do you think of throwing some turnips out? How would that be? Because we hear it's a good deal. And I just said, you know, I don't really know. How about if we try a little bit on our farm? So in a couple of our wheat fields, we just tried some strips of turnips and we'll see how it turns out. Well, it's not just turnips. There are people that are trying other crops too, radishes and other things. But there are a couple things, as I mentioned, that will put a little fertility back into the ground. So it's kind of a green manure type crop for us. Also with compaction, turnips tend to push down. And a lot of times in our part of the country, we'll catch some rains in September and going into the fall. And when you do that, it kind of loosens those compaction layers up. And if we have a plant that's growing down, pushing a root down through those compaction layers, that's a good thing and for us And not just too. a root, a big root. This is a root crop. You're going to have maybe some gaping holes down there, and as those turnips then die off and decay, it's going to leave areas that roots can easily penetrate next year. So the theory behind the thing is you will have reduced compaction. Now explain the green manure a little bit more. When it comes to green manure, there are a number of different crops that will actually add some fertility back into the soil. Yes, like any other plant, they need to take some fertility out of the soil to grow, but when you basically either till them back under or kill them off when they're still green and during their growth stage, you can put a lot of that fertility back into the well, soil. Well, you're leaving the whole crop out there. We're not gonna harvest this crop and take anything off. It's going to remain in the field. So once we kill it off, till it back in, hopefully the idea is if the turnips can actually extract some nutrients from the soil that aren't normally real available, when the turnips decay, those nutrients will be very available to the next crop. So anyway, that's the theory. Like we said, we're trying it on our farm just on a few acres and it only cost us about probably five dollars an acre to seed the turnips in so it wasn't a real big expense. So farmers are always trying some things like unique crops like turnips out in fields even when they don't intend to harvest them there are other purposes with having certain plants grow. Well one plant you don't want to see growing in your fields at any time is our weed of the week. We'll explain coming up later in the show. <laughs> 